Once hailed as a rising star in the realm of online gaming and live streaming, Grosscore's journey has taken a sharp and regrettable turn. While he was initially celebrated for his formidable skills as a Twisted Fate player and his ability to entertain audiences with his charismatic streams, his legacy has now been overshadowed by allegations of harassment, predatory behavior, and a series of questionable actions that have led him to effectively destroy his life. Raised in London, Ali Gross Gore Larson experienced many hardships from an early age. He frequently spoke about his difficult childhood, including his parents' divorce and being bullied in school. This led Ali to find solace in video games, as they provided a much-needed escape from reality. In 2006, just a year after YouTube's creation, Grosscore began exploring the world of RuneScape and started uploading gameplay videos to the platform. Back then, the idea of making money from YouTube was still unknown and seemed like a distant dream for many. Immersed in the game, Grosscore often described this period as one where his addiction to RuneScape took hold. The effects of this obsession were noticeable, his social interactions dwindled, amplifying his introverted tendencies, and his academic performance began to suffer as he devoted most of his time to the game. This downward spiral in his academics and personal life came to head when his father decided to evict him from their home. Ironically, around the same time, Grosscore received an offer to join YouTube's early partnership program, hinting at the potential of his online endeavors. Subsequently, Grosscore embarked on his college journey, marked by frequent relocations and a series of transient relationships. Amidst the web of his romantic life, one name remained constant, Rachel, who we'll discuss in more detail later on. Ali's perspective on romantic relationships was notably unconventional, leading to challenges in understanding and maintaining a meaningful, healthy relationship in his adult life. It was during this time that he was introduced to League of Legends, a game that was still in its infancy. Recognizing the potential of the game and the streaming platform Twitch, Grosscore began streaming around 2011. While initial challenges awaited him, persistence and determination saw him eventually establishing a solid footing in the streaming world. Given the booming popularity of the streaming landscape, it was imperative for Grosscore to carve out a unique identity and exude charisma to attract and retain viewers. And he did exactly that. Leveraging his remarkable skills with Twisted Fate, Grosscore ascended the competitive ladder to become a top-tier player in high-elo brackets. Concurrently, he grappled with issues in his personal life, particularly concerning his romantic relationships, a challenge not uncommon for him. As a coping mechanism, he channeled his energies entirely into streaming, often sharing his personal struggles with strangers on the internet. His dedication bore fruit, with a steadily growing viewership, an increasing subscriber count, and generous donations from fans. A particularly unforgettable episode from this era occurred in 2015, when a momentary lapse in judgment led him to inadvertently reveal his home address during a stream. This resulted in a dramatic police raid on his residence, at this time, Grosscore's popularity was arguably at its peak, consistently drawing in upwards of 10,000 viewers for each live session. Grosscore had many qualities that made him an entertaining streamer. His passionate and unfiltered personality set him apart from the rest. He often spoke his mind, resulting in animated reactions and rants, which many viewers found entertaining. Grosscore was a skilled player, sure, but it was his unorthodox relationship with his audience that really captivated viewers. He frequently shared stories from his personal life, sometimes too much, which added a layer of reality TV-style drama to his streams. This personal touch and his openness about his life made him more relatable to his audience, even if it was controversial. At the time, while there were many League of Legends streamers, few combined gameplay, personal stories, and drama as well as Grosscore did. He filled the niche for viewers seeking both entertainment and gameplay. Name a better TF than me was a common phrase he used as he truly enjoyed streaming. He was funny, he was unique, he had an entertaining character and people loved it. He pulled in thousands of views every day and was one of the biggest League of Legends creators during seasons four and five. While he did end up in some petty dramas here and there, they actually ended up playing out in his favor as it increased his visibility and relevancy in the wider gaming community. But as we can see later, he was entangled in controversies almost every year, and they eventually caught up to him. In 2016, the height of his career faced a significant setback when he was banned from Twitch. 
The ban stemmed from allegations of inappropriate behavior during a League of Legends event in the UK. Additionally, he made unfounded claims against Crepo, another prominent League of Legends streamer and LEC caster accusing him of inappropriate conduct with a minor. While these claims later turned out to be accurate, Grosscore made these accusations without full knowledge of the situation. He subsequently issued an apology through a video. In the wake of the controversy, Twitch chose to permanently suspend his account. Grosscore promptly responded with a video, sharing his perspective on the ban and disputing the allegations. Regardless of his defense, Twitch upheld their decision. Consequently, Grosscore transitioned to other streaming platforms such as Hitbox before eventually finding his new home on YouTube. In retrospect, his Twitch ban was the turning point that sent Grosscore into a downward trajectory as he found himself in more and more serious controversies, including some that were borderline criminal. He was no longer the league streamer who occasionally found himself in hot water, he was the man making questionable life decisions, being accused of serious allegations and slowly turning to alcohol to escape from the world. Grosscore has often mentioned that this period was incredibly challenging for him, feeling as if all his efforts to make something of himself had been in vain. In an attempt to cope and find solace, he made significant changes in his life. This included indulging in material comforts, such as purchasing a modern version of his father's car and undergoing a nose job. His tumultuous relationship with Rachel added to the complexities of this phase. In a particularly revealing stream, it was unveiled that they had become parents. Grosscore's approach to some significant challenges in his life appeared to be marked by a lack of seriousness in gravely serious situations. The way he casually described the birth of his child with the phrase, things just happened, and later admitted that the pregnancy was unplanned exemplifies this. Instead of addressing and reflecting on these profound life events with due gravity, his tendency to shrug them off or address them lightheartedly stood out. This casual attitude, combined with the seriousness of the circumstances, painted a picture of someone struggling to handle the weight of his choices and consequences. Though Grosscore's Twitch account was later restored, he continued to grapple with mental health issues, notably depression and anxiety. His well-being was further compromised by significant weight gain. His online presence, once vibrant, diminished drastically, with one of the few highlights being a video spar with Ninja on Twitter. Nevertheless, he stayed afloat financially, drawing from his previous earnings and fruitful investments in cryptocurrency. After spending quality time with his family, Grosscore acknowledged the necessity for positive change. He embarked on a journey to improve his physical health and revived his streaming career. However, the nature of his comeback was different than before. Instead of his solo streams, he frequently appeared as a guest on The Austin Show, participating in discussions on various topics. Despite these efforts, it appeared that old habits persisted. In a regrettable incident at a nightclub, an inebriated Grosscore ended his relationship with Rachel, leading to the painful reality of their two-year-old daughter living with separated parents. The couple eventually divorced, settling for joint custody of their child. In 2020, Grosscore's unseriousness came to the fore once again when he brazenly challenged KSI to a boxing match. Despite the barrage of videos he posted on Twitter hyping the event, he eventually backed out of the challenge. However, later that year, he took a commendable step towards introspection. He participated in a candid conversation with Dr. K from the Healthy Gamer channel. Over the span of two hours, Grosscore laid bare his vulnerabilities, delved deep into his personal struggles, and provided a genuine glimpse into his psyche. This heart-to-heart -heart session offered invaluable insights into his past, including tales about his parents, academic challenges, and reasons behind his materialistic inclinations and relationship struggles. This revealing conversation seemed to humanize Grosscore, allowing viewers to emphasize with and understand him on a deeper level. He then ventured into cooking streams where he generally seemed to relish the experience. In no time, he rebuilt a substantial following of 500,000 on Twitch. His regained sense of success and popularity, however, were a double-edged sword. As his profile elevated, so did the scrutiny, leading people to dig into his past and circulate videos and posts highlighting his missteps and controversial actions. 
In a puzzling move on March 12th, 2021, Grosscore chose to post on the subreddit r slash roastme, despite being acutely aware of his controversial past. This decision predictably backfired. Commenters quickly began referencing and providing evidence of his past misdeeds, which included allegations of misconduct, inappropriate behavior with underage individuals, and racial slurs, among other things. Although he removed the post within two hours, the damage was done. The details spread rapidly across the internet, further staining his reputation. Evidence of this includes a conversation between Grosscore and a then 17-year-old. The nature of their exchange has been questioned due to its content and their age difference, and these kinds of problems were a theme in this case. In another instance, a video showed him making statements about his relationship with a younger person. Following the post on Reddit by Grosscore on r slash roastme, an individual came forward to share her experience, highlighting the challenges she faced in the aftermath of their interaction, confirming the allegations. Moreover, Celestia Vega, who was involved with Grosscore during her late teens, described a tumultuous relationship, including online harassment and privacy breaches, which had profound impacts on her personal life. Other clips that emerged from his streams also highlighted questionable behavior and comments towards women. These instances, among others not detailed here, provide insight into the controversial nature of Grosscore's online presence. While we cannot share any of the content and talk about it due to its explicit nature and problematic topics, it's safe to say his rapid downfall afterward is completely deserved. After these allegations were brought into the public eye, Grosscore was once again permanently banned on Twitch, this time seemingly for good. This ban took a heavy toll on Grosscore, leading him to seek solace in the bottle once more. It became evident that he was grappling with a severe issue, which manifested in the form of peculiar videos he uploaded to his channel. On August 13th, 2021, he released a video titled, Drinking Has Ruined My Life, revealing the depths of his struggles. His various problems culminated in a panic attack around this time. Yet, amidst these challenging times, he managed to find a companion who is now his fiancée, as Grosscore's pattern of tumultuous relationships seemed to persist. Grosscore persisted with his streaming journey on YouTube, later making a statement in which he claimed to be innocent and a victim of cancel culture. His content often comprised of discussions and rants about the events that transpired in his life, and among the more unconventional videos, he described an encounter with a married man in a club setting. However, despite these occasional unusual uploads, the majority of his content consisted of standard vlog-style videos. He shared crazy stories such as pushing his friend Ryan out of a moving vehicle and even boasting about the fact he contracted four permanent diseases from the various women he enjoyed. Despite him trying his best to attract viewers with attention-seeking titles, his videos averaged around 10,000 views, which didn't meet his expectations. Believing his channel's name might be hindering its performance in YouTube's algorithm, he transitioned to a new channel called Woken Wolf. However, this venture didn't prove fruitful, as he soon ceased uploading content to it. He became increasingly frustrated with the performance of his videos and streams, leading to frequent on-stream arguments with his girlfriend. In search of additional income, he persuaded her to start an OnlyFans account and even promoted it on his YouTube channel, encouraging his followers to subscribe. What's more troubling is his claim of having convinced his sister and two of his exes to embark on similar endeavors. As his girlfriend began to profit from her endeavors, he grew anxious that she might leave him due to her newfound financial independence. But if you thought Grosscore could not bury himself even lower, he would be really wrong. At the start of 2023, he revealed that he had transitioned into an open relationship and even shared some intimate details about his feelings regarding their new arrangement, like the fact that he sometimes liked watching his girlfriend <coughs> enjoy the company of other men. Today, he has resumed uploading League of Legends content, though it's a far cry from his peak. Once celebrated as a master of TF with a distinct energy and personality, his journey has been tumultuous. The vibrant growth score of six years ago is a distant memory for most, but fortunately, his life really seems like a twisted fate, literally, as he's now largely recognized for allegations of predatory behavior, harassment, and pressuring those close to him into OnlyFans endeavors.
while the memory of his old school streaming days is long forgotten. 